What is going on guys and welcome back to some more Sucker Angels. In the last episode, Sayaka and Hikari are now in our class because they said they were going to keep a close eye on us and uh, <laughs> I think we're going to be keeping a close eye on them if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we passed a note to Sayaka instead of Hikari because we thought, well, she probably won't just throw the letter away. Well, we didn't get a straightforward answer, so it's whatever. But uh, anyway, let's get right into the game. I don't know why I keep doing that. That's stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, after reluctantly getting changed for PE, I'm soon in the schoolyard with the male half of the class. Uh, much like the first lesson, I find it hard to pay attention to the PE to the PE teacher as he goes through our basic warm-up exercises. I follow the exercises just about with as much enthusiasm as a zombie. I don't know, have you ever played uh, games like Left 4 Dead or uh, Call of Duty? I don't know, those uh, m those motherfuckers will chase you down. Actually, any zombie video game will chase you down. <laughs> anyway, uh, the rest of the lesson is sort of a blur. At least until some of the male students start to look towards the track field where the girls are. They're staring in amazement. Some even rubbing their eyes as if couldn't, uh, as if it couldn't be real. What's so amazing? What are you guys all looking at? I must have looked the crowd that's formed so I can actually get a good look at the field. No. No way. The girls are running on the track, which isn't an amazing thing in itself. <laughs> uh, but it's who's running on the track that makes it such an unreal sight. Really? Who would that be? Come on, tell me, buddy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello there, Sayaka. Ho, ho. Ooh, that's that's nice. <laughs> that's real nice. Um, mm, mm, look at that, and look at that. I don't know if I can really show. I don't. Uh, should I censor that? That's fine, but is that fine? <laughs> I don't know. Um, mm, that's good. Uh, ooh, ooh. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Sayaka is blazing across the track, practically a blur as she leaves the others in the dust. Forgot, she, she's an angel, so she's going to be freaking lightning fast. All right. She's literally running circles around them. God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I mean, that's fine, and that's probably really hilarious and all, but... I'm pretty sure some people are getting suspicious about this. <laughs> uh, she doesn't look tired or exhausted at all either. Save, uh, save for the beads of sweat creeping up. Uh, what? She doesn't look tired or exhausted at all either. Save for the beads of sweat creeping up. In fact, she has a big smile on her face. Clearly enjoying it all. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'll tell you that. Oh my god, look at that butt. Uh, <laughs> just noticed that actually. I, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself that I just now noticed it. As if it wasn't obvious before, these girls are on a completely different level. I'm sure she's breaking several kinds of records right here. Yeah. Um, uh, she is the re she is the record. <laughs> uh, the other girls in the group helplessly trail behind her. Their expressions uh, ranging from sheer confusion to envy. Some of those girls are, well, I guess were now, the top of their class when it came to track two. But she's making them all look like snails in comparison. I can't imagine how they must feel being shown up by, showed up by someone who hasn't even been here a day. I can hardly keep my eyes on her. <laughs> uh, I, I can, uh, she, I, fuck. <laughs> fuck! She seems to get a little faster with each loop she makes around the track. It won't be long now before she just becomes one big blur uh, encircling the place. Is she even human? Well, I do believe they said they were angels, so... Maybe? I'm seriously beginning to doubt it here, with this superhuman display. I think even the top athletes in this country couldn't compare to her. Uh, while Sayaka is hogging the spot here, there's someone missing in all of this. Her far grumpier counterpart, Hikari. If anything, shouldn't she be in the neck, uh, in neck with Sayaka? I scanned the ones trailing behind, but can't find her either. Just where are- oh. 
Behind the other girls, being left in Sayaka's desk, I see someone dragging their feet. A sour expression on their face. She's... She's just walking. Her arms folded as usual. Oh, it's it's kind of cute. I wonder if her arms are glued. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I wonder if her arms are glued like that. Um, she isn't even trying. She must really not. She must really have not wanted to enroll here. Uh, you think? What was your first guess? Uh, she. Uh, it must have been Saika's idea entirely. I'm so used to the way Necropar does its text that I'm. Uh, What are you all staring at? Come on, let's get back to it! Apparently, all forgetting we had our own lesson at hand, the teacher calls us back to reality, forcing us all to reluctantly stop gawking at the girls. The rest of PE lessons go by without anything much of note happening. Yeah, words. And then, finally, finally, the lunch break arrives. I spot the magic girls in the classroom, casually chatting away with some of the other students. I didn't think they'd be able to make friends already. Dude, dick much? <laughs> Though after Sayaka's little display earlier, she's probably the talk of the class. Genta! Hey, what's cracking? <laughs> what's cracking? She only said Kenta! Alright. She gives me a wave and a cheery smile, but I can hardly say I do the same. Ah, oh, come on now. Oh, yeah, hi. Dude, if I had so- Okay, if I had someone as beautiful as this, as kawaii as this, I would at least have a little bit of enthusiasm. Look, can we talk? No, not here. I mean, can we talk somewhere private? Now, oh, that is cute, too. That is cute. That is cute. Uh... Crap. That might have come out weird. I'm getting weird looks from everyone in the class. A few of them breaking into whispers and giggles. Even Sayaka is feeling surprise. Is feigning surprise. Sorry. Uh, despite full well knowing what I mean. Her voice is so cute. Come on, stop messing around. Stop messing around. I've been dying to talk to you. Both of you, since this morning. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I made it worse, didn't I? Yep. I've somehow turned uh I've somehow turned this into looking like one of those most awkward confessions ev I somehow turned this into the most awkward sentence ever. Good job, me. I made it worse, didn't I? I've somehow turned this into looking like one of the most awkward confessions ever. <laughs> Oops, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, the giggles, going along with the continued painful, painful stares from the class. Well, she's going to be like this. I have no choice. This is going to make me look even worse in front of the class, but I need answers. Oh, shit, man. What are you going to do? I take a deep breath to steal myself. And then... <laughs> Oh shit, fuck. I don't, I don't know what the they're talking. This is like, ugh. I mean, I don't know when to click for the next line. Okay. I grab her by the wrist, pulling her along towards the classroom door, whether she likes it or not. Given what I've witnessed before, I'm sure she could have, uh, she could have me flat on the floor if she was truly opposed to this. I think she's just messing around at this point, though. Also, I noticed that the text is starting to run at run across like this at the bottom of the screen right here. Yes. C good job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And you two, come with me. <laughs> I like her voice too. <laughs> with my free hand, I take a call of Hikari's wrist. No, ba no doubt cementing myself as some sort of deviant within my class. Thankfully, they both follow along without too much resistance, because I'm pretty sure if Hikari didn't have self-control, she would totally freaking, like, I don't know, god man, be a freaking uh, Kinta pancake. 
Uh, ignoring the uh, brunt of Hikari's verbal abuse, I continue onto the door. <laughs> She's just like leaving the class, like, Baka, 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 Baka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to find somewhere quiet where no one will hear. Ooh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, where no one will hear us uh, discuss this magic and monster business. The question is. Oof! Well, hello there! Mmm. She's nice. <laughs> She's nice. In all my haste to escape the classroom, uh, with both of the girls in tow, I crash into someone who's already making their way through the door. They stumble backwards, looking slightly dazed. Thankfully, they don't look hurt. Ah, are you, are you okay? Sorry about that. I, I, offer, I offer her an apologetic smile. Who is she again? Wait. Kenta smiled? Huh. She must be from my class. I can't recall, recall her name at all, though. Hey, You're probably going to hear this a lot, but I like her voice already. <laughs> But I, I, I get this feeling that she does not like me, just from the, like, not Hikari doesn't like me, like a tsundere, but, like, she just straight up doesn't like me. <laughs> she speaks at a cold tone. Her equally clo uh, cold eyes lock onto my own, and, and it did stare. That completely uh, betrays her words. Yikes. I guess she has a reason to be annoyed, given my clumsiness, but this is a look of pure hate. Yeah. See, see, I'm, see I thought so, too. Uh... Okay, then. Uh, confirming she's okay, I continue on with Hikari and Sayaka. They're protesting, most likely from Hikari's side increasing in volume. Uh, I can't begin to be imagine what this must look like for people passing by. I'm sure even as I head for the stairs, that girl is still staring at me. Did I do something to annoy her? Um, you bumped into her? Mm. I mean, besides the clumsiness from today, of course. Oh. Uh, I can't worry about her for now. I have bigger problems to worry about. Namely, two big problems. One in each hand of mine. Uh, emerging onto the roof, I'm thankful to see it's devoid of life. Safely uh, walled by the tall men uh, mesh fences, the roof is technically a spot students can spend their breaks at, but it really isn't that popular. Also, I just noticed the windmills are moving in the background, and that's kind of cool. Um, works for me. Okay, now can you guys explain this whole mess? I release both of the wrists simultaneously. Sayaka bounces happily, completely unbothered, while Hikari, on the other hand, rubs at her wrist as if I had assaulted her. I, I don't know when to click! I'm sorry! Yeah, uh, the, but yeah, I, I, I had I had a feeling that she probably would have, yeah. We would have been, we would have been the dumbest thing since sliced bread, because we'd be sliced kinta. <laughs> She's so cute! Look at her! Look at her so embarrassed! She's just so cute! <laughs> the heck are they even I shake my head this isn't a confession you know full well what this is about I can feel my face burning up it really is exhausting dealing with them Sarika gives me a teasing smile before bursting into a giggle apparently this is the funniest thing in the world to her yeah it, it's it's right, currently the funniest thing in the world to me <laughs> Yes. Yes, that'd be very helpful. Uh, thank you. I let out a sigh, my shoulders drooping. Finally. Finally. Oh, okay, so we get some choices. You know, I'm probably gonna do, I'll do these choices and then I'll end up. So, um, let's see, so there's just these, who exactly are you guys? What was that monster? And how long are you going to stay here? Is there a uh, save function if I can remember how to save? I don't remember how to save. Uh, shit. Um, 
Fuck. Fuck. Okay, so I don't know if it's gonna let me do all of these. So... I decided I might as well just save and then if I have to, I'll come back later. So, um... Alright, first, uh... I want to know exactly who they are. They say they're angels, but that doesn't really tell me much. So, just who exactly are you guys? Okay, this should be an obvious one to ask. I asked it before, but only got vague answer of them being in my supposed guardian angels. Best guardian angels ever, if you ask me. Uh, I'm hoping she feels more generous right now, though. Mmm, you troll, you, you, you mother, you troll. Ooh, you're lucky that you're cute and I like you. <laughs> I might actually rip my hair out here. I open my mouth once more to say that she knows damn well that's not what I mean. But it seems she's way ahead of me. Oh, okay. Uh, because I'm a faceless anime protagonist in a visual novel game. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm just a faceless anime protagonist in a visual novel game. I think. <laughs> I think Sayaka got what I did too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at Sayaka. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is this so funny? <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Uh, uh, the realization of what she said slowly dawns on her. It was quite, f <laughs> oops, uh, it was quite fun to watch her usual grumpy face gradually go red before she stomps a, a fluster. <laughs> yeah, smooth. Sayaka giggles and gives her a playful punch on the shoulder. Oh, what'd you do, hit her? Hikari responds by kindly giving her a wallop onto the shoulder with nothing playful about it. Come on. Are these two even partners? Well, yeah, probably. Anyway. I try my best to keep things on track, though. I'm sure it won't be long before it uh, devolves into violence again. <laughs> Oops, shit. <laughs> uh, do you belong to uh, some sort of group? Wait, are there more of you with these weird powers? Aw, oh, she's so cute! She rubs at the back of her head uh, with a grin that pretty much says, whoops. I probably won't be able to get any more out of her on this subject. For today, at least. Maybe if I catch her off guard another day, she might sl uh, let... Uh, she might let slip more. There is something wrong with that sentence, and I can't quite figure out what, despite despite the fact it just doesn't sound right. Um, but I get what it means. Oh. Oh, I can ask the other two. Okay, well, okay, that's fine. Maybe. Um, what was that monster? I want to know more about what the heck that thing was that they saved for me earlier. Shadow. I think she called it. I'm guessing there were more of those things looking out there. How old are you, dude, and you're using this type of vocabulary? My god, man. And they're after me. Shadows. 
lurking in the shadows. GG. Sorry, I was singing to myself. I was thinking, this episode's going on for a while, so this is probably going to be a longer episode, and I, I apologize if you lose attention, but I'm sorry. Uh, she falls into thought, leaving Hikari and I to stand awkwardly, exchanging even more awkward glances. Like, a, hey, it's cracking. <laughs> uh, Sayaka? She snaps out of her uh, stupor, okay, blinking back to reality. It doesn't seem like it was nothing. What the heck did I do to annoy these monsters anyway? Well, I always say be proud of who you are in this case. I'm a faceless anime protagonist, and I guess it's considered a harem a visual novel. Who I am? <laughs> uh, Sayaka is cut off by an ear piercing cry from Hikari. Ow. <laughs> Wasn't that loud? Uh, I guess I'll never know now. Hikari seems uh, ad a adamant about keeping this uh, secret. It's going that bad. Unless you're Kinta, who really hate. I don't know. I haven't seen much of this school, so. It's fine. She gives me an apologetic look. She really sounds sincere, too. She's practically bursting to tell me, but just can't. No use pressing it, I suppose. Maybe one day. How long are you going to stay here? Hopefully forever. This is an important one. Hopefully I don't piss off the girls by saying this, though. Just exactly how long do they plan on staying here to, uh, watch over me? <laughs> they can watch over me as long as they want. <laughs> I enjoy their company. Saika pulls a frown at my question. A genuinely sad look, one that tugs at my heartstrings. You bastard. You mother... You motherfucking bastard. <laughs> was it? Yes! It was really that bad! Oh no! No! Oh no! <laughs> like, I okay. So I realize, yes, these games didn't have most of these games don't have voice acting. But with the fact that this has voice acting now makes me a little sad. Now I'm sad now because I can really feel the pain in her voice. Damn it. <laughs> Why does she have to phrase it like that? Because, well, it's the question you asked. That's clearly not what I meant. I think. It's just, as long as they're here, I'm sure there's going to be nothing but trouble in my life. Dude, there's no going to be nothing but plot in your life. And the good kind, too. Aw, uh, come on. I didn't mean it like... She suddenly burst into a bright, beaming smile again, almost blinding me. <laughs> oh. oh my god. This girl. She breaks into a laugh. One I'm sure can be heard by the entire school from all the way up here. I guess, you, I guess you can't tell me what needs to be sorted out. She puts a finger to her nose and winks. I thought so. Okay. Maybe a couple of days, huh? Oh. I am horrible at this voice thing. Because I don't know Japanese, so this makes it a little harder. But whatever. <laughs> so mean. 
、誰かさんがつべこべ言わずにもっと協力的だったらもっと早く済むかもなんだけどな。わお、She said that without her small faltering one bit. Her tone, ju-、uh, her tone just as cheery despite the biting words. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Even her Kari has no argument against that. Those words causing her, fall, her to fall silent as she shrinks back from her deceptively bright partner. Okay. Uh. Moving on. That's all for now. I guess that's all we have time for. I guess that's all we have time for now. I think the bow for the second half is about to. Ring, ring, ring. Bell ringing. Okay, yep. There it is. She stretches her arms into the air, giving a small yawn. Something like that. Yep. So I could bound for the stairs as if we were in some sort of race. Her partner trailing behind as she gives me one last look. She stops, her eyes cast downward for a moment before flickering back up. What's up? Ah, she's so cute. And like that, she disappears down the stairs too, leaving me alone on the roof. Huh. I wonder what that was all about. Well, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching this extremely long episode of Soccer Angels. I apologize, but I enjoyed this game.、So. Uh, if you, but if you enjoyed, make sure to slap that Mexicus like button right on the booty. And I hope to see you beautiful bastards again in the next episode. So, stay awesome and be proud of who you are.